Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's vlog. It is the final week of NaNoWriMo, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe this month is already almost over. Only a week left. Like, seriously, where has time gone? So, currently it is 11 in the morning and I'm doing something a little fun. So, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, maybe it didn't been in last week's vlog, I'm actually going to New York City on Friday. And, again, I... We're only going to be there for a day and a half. We leave Friday and we come back Saturday morning. And I am starting to pack right now, so that's pretty exciting. So I figured I'd show you guys some of the things I'm bringing along, so let's jump right into it. So like I said, we're only going to be there for a day and a half, so this is just a few of the things I'm bringing. I'm not bringing a whole ton. So first we have this jacket. This is from the company The North Face. It's pretty much a signature uh, brand here in New England and maybe some other parts of the country, but it's just a white and gray kind of sweater dress type of thing so that's what that is next i'm bringing you guys have probably seen this in a lot of my re more recent vlogs this is my favorite jacket this is a faux leather jacket that i got from a shop here in new england called charlotte roofs it is obviously faux leather has some really nice buttons on it kind of reminds me and i bought this for this reason it kind of reminds me of Emma Swan's jacket in Once Upon a Time, which is kind of, like I said, the main reason why I bought it. Also, a lot of people seem to think it's the jacket that Star Lord wears in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> so, that's that. That's another thing I'm bringing. And then the last thing I have packed right now are my sneakers. This is what they look like. Very worn down because I wear them, like, every single day. But that's all that I have packed right now. So that is all I have packed right now. I thought that would be kind of fun to include in the vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and continue packing and I actually have to film a video for Friday so I can get that up on schedule and then I'm going to go ahead and write. So I will talk to you guys in a few okay, hours. Okay, another quick update. It's only been about 10 minutes since I last checked in, but I have finished packing most of the things I want to bring as far as clothes. So I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff I am bringing to so New York. So over here we have my outfit that I'm going to be wearing on the car drive from Boston to New York. So this is just a blue, navy blue tank top and then underneath I actually wore this when I went to New York last year is this just gray shirt, long sleeve shirt because it's going to be cold. So that's that outfit. And then for Sunday night, or Saturday, or Friday I should say, I'm going to go see the show Chicago, the musical. So I'm going to be wearing this black shirt which has really pretty pink sparkles on the inside. So that is that. That's kind of another one of my fancier shirts that I wear whenever I'm going somewhere know fancy or anything so that's what I'm going to be wearing Sunday night and then for Saturday day this is our last day where it's going to be kind of more relaxed day I'm going to be wearing this shirt and it has an owl on it kind of reminds me of like the Gryffindor colors you know it's not red and gold or maroon and gold it's maroon and white but I love this shirt I definitely wear this a good majority of the time especially with my red leather jacket or full leather I should say so that's that as far as pants, I'm going to bring another pair, but this is all I have for now is these black jeans. I'm not a huge fan of jeans personally, but I do wear them from time to time, especially when I'm going to concerts. I like to wear some sort of black jean, so that's that. And that is everything as far as clothes for right now. Yeah, definitely going to be exciting. Have you guys ever been to New York, and what was your experience like? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love. <laughs> so now that's, that's all done and... All set, I'm going to go ahead and film the video and go right, and I will see you guys in a few hours. Alright everybody, I'm back with another update. It's currently 4 o'clock, and today, it has, it's been an okay writing day. It hasn't been the best. I've written just under 500 words so far, so that's pretty good. I'm about halfway to my goal that I should be hitting every day. So that's pretty cool, but I found myself getting very, very distracted from booktube and YouTube in general. Uh, especially after I finished filming my video that I was filming earlier that's going up on Friday and also uploading last week's vlog onto YouTube. It's just been YouTube central today for me <laughs> to say the least but I am still writing at the same time and if you guys are interested in seeing what I've been watching a lot on booktube lately mostly and because I want to do these sometime next month I've been watching a lot of on hauls lately because I have a little bit of a ridiculous TBR pile, if you guys can see. I have about 100 physical books on my TBR 
that's not even including the ebooks that I have on my Kindle. It's a little ridiculous. So I have decided before the new year I want to do an unhaul of a good majority of the books. So I will definitely be doing that soon and so you guys can look forward to that in the sometime in the next month and a half or so. So yeah, that's been my day so far, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I am back. It is currently 6 o'clock, and I have finished writing, at least for right now. I did end up hitting my word count about five minutes ago, but I'm right, right now going to take a break from writing for a couple hours. Maybe I'll continue writing more into the night and surpass my word count, because I am trying to get as many words written as I can before I leave for New York on Friday. So we shall see what happens. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and watch some YouTube and then do some reading. And I will check in with you guys in a few hours. Okay, everybody, so it's currently quarter past 11 at night and I have just finished The Maze Runner by Jane Sasher. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. Definitely wasn't my favorite dystopian I've ever read, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it. So, yeah really happy that I finally completed that and now I can check it off my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 list that I made at the beginning of the year. So I'm super excited about that. So for the next read, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick up Ign or Ignition by William Hawk, which I got in the mail in last week's vlog. So this is an arc and it comes out on December 5th. So I figured I would just get it done and now and let's see how I think about it. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody and welcome to day 23 of NaNoWriMo and happy Thanksgiving to all my American subscribers. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I want you all to know that I am very thankful for everyone who sits down and takes the time to my, th view my videos. I truly do appreciate it. So I am thankful for all of you whether you're subscribed to me on this channel or you're new or you're part of the community on my blog, just know that I love you all and I truly do appreciate the support you've given me over this past year and a half since I started my blog and channel. So currently it is 11 o'clock in the morning and I am just getting ready for, I was just cleaning my room because it was a mess and so I did that and now I and going to watch some booktube and do some writing. I also want to give you guys a quick reading update. So last night I finished The Maze Runner by Jane Stashner and I also, the next book I picked up after that was Invitation by William Hawk. This was an art copy, it came out on, or comes out on December 5th and I also finished this last night. It was only 240 pages or so and I gave this four stars. It was really cool. So really excited about that. So right now, I don't know what exactly I'm going to pick up next. I think I'm going to pick up Night Road by Kristen Hanna, which is my good friend Lisa's over at Books and Smiles, her book club pick for the month of November. So I'm going to pick that up next. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back with my really quick update. So it's currently 4 o'clock and I still haven't done any writing today. I've been mostly packing for New York tomorrow and listening to my audiobook. I am about halfway done with Hamilton the Revolution by Lemuel Wall Marina and Jeremy McCarter. So that's going really well. I'm really enjoying it. It's probably going to be a five star read for me. I already know it at this point. So that's pretty cool. So right now it is time for my family and I to eat Thanksgiving dinner. So that's what I'm going to go do and I will check in with you guys probably after the party is over. So I will see you then. Good morning everybody and welcome to day 24 of NaNoWriMo. So I haven't updated you guys since yesterday morning and I got a little bit of writing done yesterday not too much because of well it was Thanksgiving so once again happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates it I thought hope you guys had a fantastic day I know I did so I got a little bit of writing done yet last night I've got about 200 words done before I fell asleep so that happened and now it is 10 o'clock in the morning and I still haven't left for New York yet. We're about to head off in probably about 10 minutes, so that's pretty exciting. I don't know if I'm going to vlog while I'm there, but I will take some pictures. So I will insert a montage when I am editing these, this video, uh, showing you guys some of the pictures I took in New York. So I'll try to update you guys once I get there, but who knows at this point. So I will see you guys 
either later on today or tomorrow when I get back home, back home to Boston. Okay guys, so I have arrived in New York. Yep, we're finally here. So, as you can see, we are walking down 46th Avenue right now. And over here, I'll show you guys in a second, we've arrived in a place that I really want to visit so hold on. So, we are right in front Mom. of where Hamilton is performed. Yep, right over there, guys. Oh, There's the sign so you guys can see it. Okay. So, yep. That's that's it. So, that is my update for now. Of course, I haven't done any writing today, but I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hello. It's currently Monday. I haven't vlogged in two and a half days, and I sincerely apologize for that. It has been a crazy busy couple of days. The last time I checked in with you guys, I was in New York. I think I just gotten to New York and I was showing you guys where Hamilton was performing. That's what it was. So that was a pretty exciting day. That night we saw the play of Chicago, which was good. I really liked it. Uh, then Saturday we were walking around the city the entire day. We went to the World Trade Center memorial site and museum and then we went to up to the top of the freedom tower which was really cool we got to see the entire city which was something i had always wanted to do so that was good then we left we left pretty late from new york to get back home to boston we left around 4 30. we didn't get back home until 9 and yeah it was just a crazy couple of days and then yesterday i got distracted by a bunch of other things football homework it was a busy couple days. I did get some writing done, but not a whole lot. To be honest, right now, I wrote, I want to say about 2,500 words yesterday because I was so behind on my word count. Now I'm up to 40,314 40, words. So that's pretty cool. I need to get up to 45,000 today if I want to make my word count by the end of the week. So hopefully that's the case. I'm not giving up yet, guys. I'm not giving up. So I'm going to go ahead and go right until... I die and then I will talk to you guys in a few hours. Well hello everybody. It's currently Wednesday so it's been a couple of days since I lost a and I sincerely apologize for that. This week has just not been the best week to vlog but I will hopefully remedy that in the near future. So like I said it's currently Wednesday. It's about 7 o'clock at night and right now I'm actually filling out another job application. If you guys watched I believe it was week two's vlog. I had a job interview at Lush, which is a cosmetics company I, I've interviewed at my local Lush. I never heard back from them, so I'm assuming I, not, I didn't get the job, but that's okay. I have another job that I am waiting to hear back from, which is at Hot Topic, which is a clothing company that deals with, like, you know, popular stuff in the media, so they should sell, like, panties. I'm sure you guys have all heard of Hot Topic. And then right now, if that doesn't work out, I have another one that I am applying to right now, and that's Michael's, which is a craft store. As most of you guys know, I love doing DIY stuff. I have a whole separate channel for that, so I will have that linked down below if you guys are interested in that. So I want to apply there, because that's dealing with one of my other favorite things besides the books and clothing and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go know, read, write, and listen to the Bruins game. And before I go, I wanted to update you guys on my reading. So yesterday I finished my audiobook to Hamilton the Revolution by Lin Manuel Miranda and Darren Carter. I really enjoyed it. I was listening to the audiobook and also uh, reading along because I do have the physical book. I gave it a five out of five stars. I absolutely loved that book. And I also picked up on ebook Every Heart of Doorway by Sean and McGuire. I hope I said that right. That I am about halfway done with and I am really enjoying it. So that's what I'm reading right now. And I'm going to go ahead and go right and I will see, talk to you guys in a few hours. Okay, everybody. So I am back with another update. So currently 8.30 and I figured it would just pop in give you guys a quick little update on my writing. So I have written... 1200 words so far today so that's pretty good i am officially just past 45,000 words so i only have 4,996 words to write before i am done with nanowrimo which is absolutely insane i don't know if my story will be wrapped up at the 50,000 word mark 
possibly just over 50,000 words, but I don't know at this point. But I'm getting so close, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. As I was saying, I think it was in week two's vlog that I knew I was going to hit that 50,000 word mark. But when I went to New York and went behind on my schedule, that was a whole nother story. I was starting to doubt myself, and now I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident. I don't know what to think at this point, guys. But I am hoping to get at least to the 48,000 word mark tonight. Maybe, knock on wood, 49,000. And even if I'm really a friend, maybe I'll hit the 50,000 word mark tonight. I don't know. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I am almost back on track. I'm only 3,000 words behind where I should be at this point. I can do it. I know I can. I'm not giving up. And if I don't finish NaNoWriMo this year, that's okay. I'm going to still write my novel into December. That was my plan at the beginning of the month. I'm sticking with that until the very end of this month. So that is my update for now. I have been writing, listen to the Bruins game, go Bruins. We are currently winning against the Tampa Bay Lightning 2-0, so that is pretty cool. And yeah, so that's my update for now, and I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, everybody, so I'm back with another quick update. It's currently 10.30, and my gosh, I have done a lot of writing. I have written 3,200 words, so that's really, really good. I am about 1,600 words away from where I should be as far as my workout for today. I believe I have to have 48,333 words, and I have... Let's see, 47,013 words done. So that's good. Hopefully I can finish that workout by the end of the night. If not, tomorrow's the last day of now. I'll just do it tomorrow and write all the way until 50,000. So that is the plan for the rest of the night. The Bruins just finished up their game. We won 3-2, to two, so good job to my Bruins. That was an awesome game. And yeah, so that was my update for now. I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night. Okay, everybody, so I'm back. It's now quarter of 11. I'm just going to just go ahead and end my writing for today. Uh, it is, I'm up to 47,131 words as far as my work count. So tomorrow, since I wrote so many words today, I almost wrote 3,500 words. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm going to go ahead and spend the entire day tomorrow writing. I do have one orthodontist appointment to go to tomorrow, but that's literally my only plan for the rest of the day, is orthodontist appointment, and then wait until, well, midnight tomorrow night. <laughs> so that is my plan, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and watch some Netflix. I am honestly trying to decide. I am watching two movies right now, but I really want to start watching another TV show. I just finished watching season four of The Great British Baking Show, so I think now and you guys are probably going to yell at me because I have yet to watch the show. I'm finally going to start watching Stranger Things. Yeah, I know I'm like two years late on this, guys, but I'm finally going to do it. I swear. So uh, that's my plan for the rest of the night. I will let you guys know how I think about Stranger Things tomorrow. I think I'm probably going to be addicted to it from what I've heard on the internet. So I will let you guys know how I feel about it in the morning, and I will see you then. <laughs> Hello everybody, good morning, it is currently 11.30, welcome back to another second of Jackie talks about her writing updates in her car, yay! I feel like I'm always in my car during my vlogs, I know I say that a lot, but it's true, I'm always updating in my car. It's currently 11.30, like I said, and I am about to head off to my orthodontist appointment, I am going to do that, and then I'm going to the gym. Then I'm going to come back and write for the rest of the day. I did write about 200 words this morning, so that's pretty damn cool. But I have not much update on. I'm still reading Every Heart of Doorway. I am going to pick up, while I'm at the gym, uh, The Bean Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson once again. It's been about two months since I picked that book up, so it's about time I get up again and yeah that's my update for now i'll talk to you guys in a few hours okay everybody so i am back with another update it's currently a quarter of seven and to be honest i haven't done a whole ton of writing today when i last left you guys i was about to head off to my orthodontist appointment which is what i did so my braces are all done and done we're actually almost done we probably have about two more months before i can get these things off so that's great 
and then I went to the gym and did almost two hours there which is pretty good my goal for the new year is to lose at least 50 pounds because I have a wedding to go to next October so I want to lose the weight before then but I'll talk more about that in a future video and then from there on out I just got distracted by a lot of things as a youtuber who's been doing youtube for five years i easily get distracted by youtube drama youtube news my favorite booktubers my favorite youtubers very easily and i try not to do that but i'll honestly i'll take a break from writing and then i'll want to watch like for example my favorite channel uh it's called smosh you guys might have heard of them. they were really really big a few years ago they're one of the oldest channels. I will sit down and watch them. I will try to sit down and watch one video and end up watching them for like three straight hours. It's kind of a problem. So with that being said, I've got written 300 words today. But it's only 7 o'clock, so I have plenty of time to hit the next 3,000 words that I need to write before the end of the night. So cross my fingers I'm saying a prayer that I can get it done if not this is my plan if I do not win NaNoWriMo by the end of the day I'm going to continue writing into December and I will keep you guys updated on that and I'm going to talk more about more vlogging in the future at the end of the night when I end the vlog so stay tuned for that so with that all that means that I'm gonna go ahead and go right now talking with you guys at the end of the night <laughs> okay guys so I'm back with what will be the final update of NaNoWriMo 2017 and I can officially say I did it guys. I won NaNoWriMo. Yes. I hit that 50,000 word mark and at this point last week and even earlier this week I was stepping myself on like I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna hit the 50,000 word mark. I thought I had jinxed myself a couple weeks ago when I said I was definitely gonna hit it. I didn't know and I did it. I'm so so happy. I can officially say that this novel is not complete at this point. The 50,000 word, word mark is probably the three quarter point of where I want this novel to be as far as my word count. I think it will be probably closer to the 75,000 to 100,000 range by the time it is completely done. So we're, we're almost there guys, but I will keep you guys posted on how it comes along as far as the process of writing that book. And if you guys saw that 2017 reading, writing, and channel goals video I did at the very beginning of the year, I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. One of my goals for this year was to finish writing the first draft of my book. I started talking about writing a book last year, I believe in June of last year. And originally it was going to be a dystopian novel, which is also what I had planned for NaNoWriMo this year before I came up with the idea I had. And after thinking about it for months and months and months I decided dystopian worlds are really hard to come up with a concept for so I scratched the dystopian idea even though I would love to return to it eventually but who knows at this point and I have decided that the one I started writing the novel I started writing for NaNoWriMo is a novel I want to publish sometime in the future that is going to be what I consider my book and I can officially check writing the first draft of my book off my list of goals I want to accomplish. Even though it's not done yet, I can say I'll it will probably be done by the time the end year ends. Crossing my fingers. Depends on how my schedule as far as school goes next month, but it will be done by the end of the year. So I will be able to check it off of that list. Just so yeah. I hope everybody who had participated in NaNoWriMo this year had a blast doing it. Tell me how you guys did down in the comments down below. I would love to know. I hope you guys all did a really good job. Even if you didn't win, I hope you at least got to a point in your story that you were happy with. Because you can always win it next year. I swear, don't never give up, guys. So that is all I'm going to have for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have my NaNoWriMo page linked down below. If you guys are interested in following me on that, I also have the video where I talk about my 2017 reading, writing, and channel goals. That will be down below along with all of my social media links. So my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are linked down below along with 
again, my links to my NaNoWriMo page and the video, as well as the vlog playlist that has all the vlogs I have done in the past. So this include Booktubeathon, Tom Topple, and the past three weeks of NaNoWriMo's vlogs. Again, those are all linked down below. And with all of you said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.